Transformative Power of the Spirit In 1 Samuel 10 verse 6, the prophet Samuel says to Saul, The Spirit of the Lord will come powerfully upon you, and you will prophesy with them, and you will be changed into a different person. What a profound statement. The idea of being changed, not just externally, not just temporarily, but completely and permanently. It's the kind of transformation we all long for, the kind of change that only God can bring. It's a reminder that when we encounter the Spirit of the Lord, we cannot remain the same. I remember reading those words and feeling an ache in my soul. I wanted that change. I wanted more than just a surface level improvement or a momentary emotional high. I wanted God to do something deep within me, something that would redefine who I was. I didn't want to be the same person tomorrow that I am today. I wanted an eternal transformation, one that only God could orchestrate. But here's the problem, too many of us settle for less. As Pastor Adrian Rogers once said, the problem today is that many people attend church, listen to sermons, and even join congregations, but they are never radically or dramatically changed. They have religion, but they've never truly met God. What a sobering thought. How often do we go through the motions, showing up on Sundays, saying all the right words, and yet remaining the same? How often do we cling to a shallow faith, a mild form of Christianity that has no power to transform? That thought challenged me deeply. It forced me to ask myself, have I been radically changed by Jesus Christ? Has my life been dramatically transformed? Or am I simply going through the motions, wearing the mask of faith while my heart remains untouched? Am I truly full of the Holy Spirit, or is there an emptiness that only God can fill? The Bible doesn't leave us in the dark about what this transformation looks like. In Ephesians 4 verses 22 to 24, it says, Put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires. Be renewed in the spirit of your minds. Put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. This isn't a suggestion, it's a command. It's an invitation to step into something new, to leave behind everything that held us back and embrace the new identity God has given us. When Jesus Christ becomes the Lord of your life, everything changes. Sin no longer defines you. But make no mistake, this transformation is not without struggle. The change is that you begin to fight. You fight against temptation. You refuse to give in to the desires of the flesh. Yes, you may stumble, but you won't stay down. Instead, you rise again, strengthened by the grace of God, and continue the good fight of faith. You see, an encounter with Jesus Christ is life-changing. You cannot meet the Savior and remain the same. When you truly come into His presence, chains are broken. Burdens are lifted. Darkness flees. The things that once held you captive lose their power. That's the kind of change that happens when the Spirit of the Lord moves in your life. The Bible calls us to full commitment. In 1 Kings 8 verse 61, it says, May your hearts be fully committed to the Lord our God, to live by His decrees and obey His commands. What does it mean to be fully committed? It means surrendering everything. It means holding nothing back. Your time, your energy, your dreams, your relationships, all of it belongs to Him. It's about giving God your whole heart, not just a piece of it. Psalm 37 verse 5 tells us, Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will bring it to pass. Have you made that commitment? Have you surrendered your way, your plans, your life to Jesus Christ? Surrender isn't about losing control, it's about finding peace. It's about trusting that God's plan is greater than anything we could ever imagine. Dear Lord, Savior of the world, I come before you today with an open heart. Take my heart. Shape it. Mold it. Transform it. I pray for a change so deep, so profound, that it can only come from you. Help me, Lord, to put off the old self. Help me to let go of deceitful desires, anger, bitterness, and everything that pulls me away from you. Fill me with your spirit. Renew my mind. Renew my heart. Create in me a new self, 
one that reflects your righteousness and holiness. The Bible in Galatians 5 verses 16 to 17 says, Walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the desires of the flesh are against the Spirit. This is the daily battle we face, the struggle between the Spirit and the flesh. But God has given us the strength to overcome. When we walk by the Spirit, we bear good fruit. We become more like Christ. And as we grow, our lives begin to reflect His love, His joy, His peace, His kindness. So, I ask you today, have you caught the fire of God? Or are you still clinging to a form of religion that leaves you empty? It's time to stop going through the motions. It's time to let go of everything that holds you back. Surrender fully to Jesus Christ. Give Him your heart, your mind, your soul. Experience the life-changing power of His love and grace. Lord Jesus, right now, I yield to you. Change me from the inside out. Take my life and make it yours. May my life bring glory to your name. May I reflect your love in everything I do. Thank you for your saving grace. Thank you for transforming me. I commit myself fully to you, now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen.